The rail industry has always been at the forefront of technological change. Just as steam locomotives gave way to diesel electric locomotives, the future of rail will see new fuels replacing diesel. I'm Wayne Kennedy, a fuel efficiency expert for railroads. I formed and led a fuel conservation group for over 10 years at a large class one railroad, saving them hundreds of millions of gallons of diesel fuel. Now as a consultant, I help other railroads in their fuel savings and greenhouse gas emissions reduction journey. Today, we're exploring the evolution of energy sources and where the rail industry may be headed. The shift from steam to diesel electric, known as dieselization, began in the late 1930s. The transition spanned over 30 years, bringing significant fuel efficiency and financial benefits to railroads worldwide. Diesel engines were less expensive to refuel and easier to maintain, revolutionizing rail transport. Today, the drive for change is different. The focus is on reducing greenhouse gas emissions rather than just improving efficiency. While diesel has been a reliable and safe fuel due to its high energy density and ease of use, its environmental impact cannot be ignored. The contenders for future rail industry energy sources include electrification, battery electric locomotives, and hydrogen fuel cells. Each comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. Electrification offers a clean solution, but is costly. With 160,000 miles of track in North America alone, the infrastructure investment would be immense. A partial solution could involve electrifying the most heavily used routes. Battery electric locomotives, or BELs, are a promising option, especially for yard and local services. However, their current energy density and the need for extensive charging infrastructure limit their use in long-haul mainline service. Hybrid locomotives, combining diesel and battery electric, can offer a 10% fuel efficiency boost. For mainline use, advances in battery technology and the introduction of battery tender cars will be essential. It will likely be a decade or more until BELs are able to be used in mainline freight service. Hydrogen fuel cell locomotives are another alternative. Hydrogen fuel cells generate electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, producing only water and heat as byproducts. Because of costs and the current state of technology, there are only two class ones working on developing HFC locomotives. CPKC and CSX. They face challenges related to storage, handling, and production costs. Green hydrogen produced using renewable energy is the ideal, but currently a very expensive option, costing anywhere between 10 to 100 times more on a diesel equivalent basis. Most hydrogen is labeled as gray, which means it's derived from natural gas or methane. Gray hydrogen is four to five times the cost of diesel, but you gain very little GHG emissions advantage using it. Challenges with transportation and handling come down to the size of the hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the periodic table. Due to its size, it needs extreme cooling to reach a liquid form, meaning that it needs to be transported in a carefully controlled environment that's both technologically advanced and costly. Biofuels are another option that can offer a near-term bridge solution, giving the industry time to develop more complex technology. Biofuels can significantly reduce emissions without requiring new infrastructure or technology. Depending on the feedstock used, biofuels could reduce GHG emissions by anywhere from 60 to 90%. A key challenge is supply and demand. Given rail is not the only industry looking for biofuels, Competition with the trucking and maritime industries makes securing a substantial supply challenging. The aviation industry also wants sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, which comes from the same feedstocks. In other words, biofuels is in high demand, but there's a somewhat limited production availability due to a variety of factors, such as space and competing land use. The rail industry's fuel evolution is a journey driven by the need for sustainability. While the path forward includes many challenges, the commitment to reducing emissions and developing new technologies will pave the way for a cleaner and more efficient rail system. 